How's it going guys? It is your boy Mars. As you guys see on my background, we are going to tune some drag cars. Um, for everybody that is new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and let's get right to it. I got this time, we're going to tune the uh, 2015 Chevy Camaro Z28, that LS7 motor. And let's get right to it. Let's go to upgrades. Let's go to custom upgrades. This car is really fast. Got a lot of horsepower in it as well. Uh, so we're going to leave the motor stock. The motor's going to be stocked. You do get a couple more options, but everything else is V10 and V12, which we don't want. Um, and, of course, the car is going to be rear-wheel drive. We're going to put those twin turbos in it. So it's going to have the twin turbo with that LS7. And let's go right over here to the engine, and let's put every single thing on here. Oh, I just backed out. Every single thing on here is pretty much going to be raced, just like you guys see. This is a nice interesting car because I mean it, it had a lot of horsepower back in the older Horizon um, but it it you couldn't put the power in the ground but now with these new tires you can do that and there we go guys gonna put that race in a cooler and uh, no flywheel on the car just like so now we're gonna go back over here of course we need that rally suspension remember we want it kind of soft on that suspension and rebound and buff, uh, buff stiffness uh, so rally is the way to go um, let's put that in there, that in there as well. Okay, no row cage, guys. Now, now we don't use row cage anymore because of the new drag tires and full weight reductor. So we are sitting at a whopping 1,265 horsepower with a torque of 1,088 foot pounds of torque. The car still weighs a whopping 3,200 pounds. Um, but with the power and everything like that, it kind of, it, it, you know, helps the vehicle, you know, pretty much be pretty quick. Um, so we're going to do that. And uh, let's go over here. Everything on here is always going to be race. Just like you guys see. Boom, boom, boom. And now we're going to go back out like that. And let's go over here. Of course, guys, drag tires. And nothing with the front, leave it alone at 305s. That's crazy wide. And the back are 355s, even wider, as you guys see right there. Um, and then the wheels that I did choose, I chose some of these new ones that they came out with, these OZs, which are from Motorsport 7. Uh, so I put them there, and I made them black. Um, and that is it with the size. We're going to leave it alone. That's 19s in the front and 19s in the rear so that is going to be the build guys um the front there's nothing you can do here i'm not going to put any fours of stuff or anything like that it's not a circuit car um and that should be it so let's go to the tune let me show you guys the tune so we got a 0 to 60 at a 1.8 and a 0 to 100 at a 4.0 um the car's front tire pressure we got it at 55 then the rear at 15 Remember, we want the, the most uh, footprint on the ground so the can, car can grip and take off. And then here you want less so you can have less of a drag on um, the front tires. Let's go over here. Here goes the tune, guys. So we got that final drive at a 2.5. First gear is 315. Second gear, 240. Third gear, 175. And uh, fourth gear, third gear, 175. Fourth gear, 135. Alrighty, so here goes the tune for it. You guys can pause the video, put this on your car, and let's go over here. We got a little bit of positive on the front. Remember, we were trying that those front wheels not to be touching the ground as much. Zero everything out in a seven. 65 and one. Uh, real soft in the front, stiff in the rear. And then the car raised all the way up, all the way up. It loves to be all the way up. And then uh, that's what she said, right? <laughs> and then one, ten, ten, one. Nothing with that, nothing with that, and 100 and 100. So this is going to be the tune, the build. Let's go outside. Let's show you guys how to launch the car, uh, what my settings are, what the telemetry is giving us with the torque and everything like that. And let's fast travel to the track. Where are you? Gosh, right over here. Let's fast travel to the track. And... Um, and we can take it also to, we can do it on the strip, on the drag strip, and see what it runs in a quarter mile. Um, I don't even know what it what it runs, actually. I haven't, I haven't ran it on the road. Alrighty, so let's line up. Let's go to the lineup. 
Alrighty. So let's line it up here like so. I always like this one right here. Very well. Alrighty. So let's line it up. So one of the key things, guys, burning out your tires is actually a really, really, really good key. Um, it makes your car actually grip a lot stronger if you do like burnouts, you know, like so. This will help you tremendously on uh, making a gear shorter and having your car grip tremendously uh, like crazy. Your car will just grip, you know, really, really good. As soon as rain drops, though, uh, no grip. But uh, besides that, you'll have grip on there. Right now. So let's line it up like so, guys. To launch the car is e-brake on the A button. Then you feather the gas with the RT button until you have the gas pressed all the way down. The car will hold almost at 2,000. You do put that telemetry. We got a pound of 9.2 boost, a torque of 357 off the line at 19 RPM. So... Uh, the boost is pretty low, but I mean, it, it, it. I have the first gear really short that it just, it'll just give you a real quick launch. If you guys see, transition. See, since I did, I did the burning out of the tires. Ah, there we go. I did burn the burning out of the tires? It caused the car to uh, grip a lot more, way, way, way more. So let's line up like here. Perfect. So on the uh, hold on. See, right now we have negative 11 pounds of boost until you do that boost brake launch. Let's go right here or the e-brake launch, I should call it. Let me show you guys my settings really quick. We got difficulty. Pretty much everything's turned off. Got the car manual with clutch. That is the only way to do it. Um, and let's take it out to the drag strip. Let me show you guys what it runs on the strip. Let's see if. Uh, Let's see if it can run uh, eight, probably. Let's go over here. Let's go solo. Boom. Boom. Alrighty. Yeah, so I got this little paint job from the storefront. A nice little uh, 427. Um, that Yanko on it. Looks pretty dope. Nice little tribute for the 69 Camaro. Alrighty, so gonna full gas it see if what it does if it spins on me i'll let go of the gas but uh let's see what it does with a street tune yep <laughs> so there you go it just spin on me and then i even i shifted it really horrible but let's do it one more time and see what it runs this probably is like a nine second <laughs> to be honest first gear is extremely short yeah so it looks like it will run an eight from the looks of it um but i don't don't have it tuned for the drag strip this is just a street tuned version of it. If you guys do have a drag strip version of it, let me know what it does hit. Just like so. I think this might have been an 8. There you go, guys. It did an 8.7 on the quarter mile. Nice little 8.7 car. Pretty, pretty quick. Pretty quick for the weight. Pretty quick. Um, and it's a nice little fun build, so I hope you guys build this car. And let me know in the guys in the comment down below what uh, cars you guys want me to make in the future or you know future video. And uh, yeah, like always, guys, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys around with another tuning video. Peace out, everybody.